What do you think it's about? What? This movie, this goddamn movie we've spent the last four months breaking our asses over. It's gotta be about something, right? Everything is about something. I think it's about the subconscious. Say again? It's about the subconscious. You know, sharks are these ancient primal creatures, right? Well, the, well, they represent all the primal fear in all of us, all the, all the terrors and desires we keep buried down deep. You know, all the, all the Freudian crap my therapist is always going on about. That's what the shark is. You don't agree? It's an interesting theory. All right, but what do you think it's about? I think it's about responsibility. You know, when the government are putting profit before people's lives and you can't get rid of the idiots, you gotta take care of the mess yourself, even if it scares you for the good of the community. Whoa. That's deep. What about you, Robert? What do you think it's about? It's about a shark. The play is about three large personalities who happen to be film stars locked in a small room for an extended period of time and how that plays out. Well, I've, I've, I've been speaking to people who have come to see the show who haven't seen Jaws, and they, they get a lot out of it. You don't, it's not uh, a prerequisite by any means. I mean, it's, I think it's fairly obvious what the film is about. It's about a shark that they're trying to catch. That, that is literally all you need to know. If, if you happen to have watched Jaws, then you'll get little bonus, uh, you know, treats, you know, because you'll recognize some of the little references and, and, the, and you'll, of course, adore the set uh, and all the other things, but it really isn't uh, a key thing to have done to watch the film. I knew nothing about the backstory of the shoot of Jaws before, like, I got a call from Ian, because we've got several mutual friends, how I originally got the part, just saying, hey, do you want to audition for this show that we're taking to Edinburgh? So I started looking at it, I was like, oh, this was a nut. This sounds like a nightmare. I have to be transparent. I've worked with Spielberg. Um, I was really fortunate to um, spend a summer working on Saving Private Ryan, and uh, working with him. I mean, obviously, I can only add to all the great compliments and verify how amazing he is to work with. Um, he is such a lover of filmmaking and the process of it. It was not surprising at all after working with him that he would have taken such a risk to shoot the first film on the open water. And I would like to think that he would just enjoy the detail and care that we put into trying to recreate this really hitherto, un, you know, shoot that had never been done quite like this before. It's always tricky for a son to play his father, and particularly if that father has passed uh, at a young age. So, um, and I, I have dealt with that as a director before, um, and so it needs to be handled very sensitively, and it's key to Ian, who's an incredibly sensitive, wonderful actor, uh, that it was. Um, but also, he doesn't shy away from the cold hard truths. I, I'm surprised at how relaxed I feel about it. I thought I would be kind of freaked out, but I feel it feels natural. I know that sounds weird, but I just feel I know him so well that it's not a huge stretch. It feels like putting on a glove. There are fascinating websites out there run by endless amounts of fanatics. Uh, and whilst that has been a treasure trove of information, it's also you need to take a lot of it with a pinch of salt because they'll contradict each other. One person will say, this is exactly how it was, and you can't find anything else. What surprises me, I'm surprised the orca doesn't exist anymore. There's some photographs of it in uh, a small dock, rotting away, which is kind of a sad end, such a beast. I think they should come and see the show because they're going to laugh um, so they're going to be entertained and hopefully moved and stimulated 